Hello there, YouTube. This is Dakota from Bowtide Media, and uh, we're doing another tier list from the Billboard year-end list. What we're doing is we're looking at the final top 10 list from the dance electronic charts from Billboard. We did 2022 already, and we're going back to 2021 now and looking at the list and putting it in. And somehow, uh, magically, 2022 had the entire tier list. We're not trying to fill it out. We're not doing S to F. We're not filling them all out. We're just um, putting where they deserve to be. And in the end, we'll we'll see how it ranks out. So uh, number 10, <laughs> it ended up being uh, In the Ghetto by J Balvin and Skrillex. Honestly, uh, Skrillex, what was this? This was <laughs> this was boring reggaeton beat that uh, it felt like it was too pandering to the Latino crowd. It felt like it was just, um, yeah, it just felt, it didn't feel authentic. It didn't feel genuine. It just felt like a kind of four hit for commercial success, which it did. It did get top 10. So uh, we're going to put this one in E, in E. This one goes in the E category. Uh, and then we've got uh, Head to Heart by Joel Corey and Eminek. Uh, this one was, honestly, it was like, it was, it felt derivative. It felt short. It didn't feel short. It was short. Uh, just kind of boring slap house. I wasn't really feeling this one a whole ton. This one just felt like the a product of the dance music at the time as a whole. And so we're going to put this one in D, in D category. Uh, and then again, actually, we have the Cold Heart Panau remix by Elton John and Dua Lipa. This one came out, I believe, later on in the year, charted later on in the year, and then ended up being number one in 2022. But I guess we'll talk about it again here as it showed up in 2021. Um, kind of more simplistic grooving track here uh, that was definitely going to be a recipe for success um, with Elton John and Dua Lipa and then Panau being the remix here, which they didn't do a whole ton to the remix, but definitely made it a, a dance style track. Uh, I've been, I've loved Panau for a long time, so I'm glad they did get some recognition though, so. Uh, it's going to go in B. It's going to go in B, just like it did 2022. Uh, up next, we've got Rain On Me by Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. And if you're like, this isn't electronic, well, it's dance slash electronic. So this is the dance part of it. And this is definitely a dance pop track. So uh, th this is an iconic track, personally. Um, this was on... <laughs> Very much a killer collaboration with some nostalgic synths here, and for such a big collaboration, I think it I think it went really well. So we're gonna put this one in A tier. We're gonna put it in A. Rain on me. Way to go. Then we got you by Regard Troy Sivan and Tate McRae. Uh, this is honestly a bit of a bop. A bit of a bop. Um, got a commercial beat with a popular vocalist here, obviously in both uh, Troy and Tate, and uh, you know it. They gave solid vocal performances, I think, both of them. And in the end, this was a solid commercial dance track. And I would say uh, we're going to put this one in A as well. In A as well. Uh, then at uh, the number five track of the year, it was uh, Papas by uh, Faro Or no. Yeah, Papas by Faruku. This one's the one we talked about. Sort of. No, was this one that landed on the other one? Yeah, it was. This one landed on number three in 2022. And this was number three five in uh in 2021 this is kind of your yearly big reggaeton song uh, i felt like this one had a little bit more life in it than other reggaeton tracks do but it did feel a little repetitive and so we're gonna put this one in c just like it did last time uh then we've got i l y by surf mesa uh featuring emily um, and, uh, you know, I never really understood this track. I thought the vocals were horrible. I thought the beat was a drag. Uh, it's trying to be this kind of beach chill track and it just, I just found it way too annoying. So I heard this one a decent amount and I did not like it. And so we're going to put this one in, in E. We'll land in E. Uh, and then we've got The Business by Tiesto. Let's get down to business. <laughs> But um, yeah, honestly, I uh, I had this one stuck in my head for months. I really did enjoy it. Um, this is another Tiesto track that kind of hits one big yearly pop charting track uh, for him. And this one was a catchy earworm, I would say, pretty much instantly. Uh, it's kind of a run-of-the-mill Tiesto deeper style house track with the kind of deep voice and the uh, let's get down, let's get down to business. And so uh, this one's going to land in, in B. I think it's going to land in B. Uh, then we've got Roses, the uh, Amman Beck remix originally by St. John. Uh, you know, I hate this track. I really do. I, I really hate it. Uh, it's boring future house with annoying vocals, and I just see no real substance here. That being said, I don't think it's as bad for F. Like, I see some life in it a little bit, so we're going to put it in, we're going to put it in E again, in E. 
And the number one song on the charts, the dance electronic charts from 2021, was in fact the Goosebumps remix uh, by Travis Scott. And then uh, HMVE did the remix for it, so, or Hume. Um, yeah, uh, this is a Future House remix of a Trap classic and uh, really sucked all the energy out of it. I, I did like the original Goosebumps by uh, Travis Scott quite a bit. It was a very iconic one from his discography. And this remix, um, it made it bad. Um, it, it made it bad. And we're going to... We're going to also put this in E. It's a lot of E uh, this time around. No S, no F. But um, yeah, that is the tier list. That is the 2021 top 10 dance electronic charts. Uh, we're going to go year by year eventually as the weeks go on. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think of these tracks. Uh, do you think I was too harsh or too um, good on any of these tracks? I'd love to hear any and all in the comment section below. But other than that, uh, I'm Dakota, and this has been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.